Hi, my name is Christopher Saavedra and welcome to this Lightboard session. Today I got an interesting topic and I would like to share with you three steps to choose the right power source for your RTG crane. Are you ready? Let's go for it. So step number one, understand your way of working. This is a really critical point you need to have since day one in your evaluations and assessment to choose the right power source. You need to know where you will be deploying these RTGs. You need to know what are the capabilities of these RTGs and what are the KPIs you are looking for with this equipment. Step two, identify the elements needed for each type of power source. And this is quite critical because if we are talking about the brownfield terminal with an existing fleet of RTGs, you will need to consider probably changing your layout if you are going to electrify those into a back-to-back -back layout, for example. If you are on uh, a greenfield terminal, probably it's not that a big issue. You got type of white paper to go through it, but the, all these elements need to be addressed on time. Then we got the step three, and uh, I consider this is one of the most important one here because you need to create, at least from the design point of view, a platform where you will enable this future automation or reco efficiency. And by this I mean that uh, you need to have all the distances for a future human-machine segregation. Um, I am referring to fences and many other elements that will enable uh, different levels of RTG automation in your terminal. I normally get asked, Chris, then uh, which power source is the best option for my terminal? And my answer is that, that there is no one size fit all solution here. So we need to have a proper understanding of your way of working. We need to know what are the KPIs you are looking for. And we need to understand a little bit more your layout and all the infrastructure involved in your terminal. So here we got the power sources. Uh, the diesel is a well-known equipment. These days you can find uh, RTGs with smaller engines resulting in less um, fuel consumption and less CO2 emissions. The hybrid concept is a really interesting uh, concept and uh, most of the customers are now evaluating this type of options. And finally, we got the electric uh, solution. Normally you will find cable reel solutions or bus bars. It all depends on the infrastructure involved and the needs of the terminals. It's really important to consider that the electric solution over here will be zero local emissions. And that's really positive and that's why many of our customers are already evaluating this type and matching this type of solution with a future automation. So when it comes to the business case, you will reach the interesting part here. So you will see that according to the region, prices may vary. By this I mean diesel cost will be different according to the regions. Energy cost will also be different. As you may see in Europe, we already got the CO2 taxations in some countries. So all these elements need to be included into the business case. A very important aspect here is that the electric solutions will need to consider additional infra. By this I mean additional substations, probably all the infra required for a bus bar or maybe a cable reel. So all those will make a big difference into your, your business case. If you are an existing terminal using already diesel RTGs and you, you want to migrate into a hybrid solution, probably it's less disruptive. But uh, if you are considering electric solutions, then you will need to take a look more into the infra needed here. Let me know in the comments below what are your main challenges when evaluating the power source of RTGs. And don't forget to like and share if you like this video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.